now that our tape is dry, we can go ahead and peel it off. Be very careful as you're getting it off the paper. Peel back very slowly so you don't rip the paper around it. And you see it'll leave a very crisp line all around the exterior of where the tape was. So this technique is really helpful when setting up your composition. If you want a background, you can put the tape where you want your subject matter and finish the background first. The next one we're going to work on is crayon resist. It'll also create crisp lines with your watercolor. We're going to start with the crayon and so create different shapes and lines with the crayon. You can use dark thick application or use the side to create less crayon. And once you have a few spaces on there, dip your brush and load with color. And so as you go over the crayon, the watercolor doesn't affect any of the crayon areas. So you can create high contrast between the crayon and the watercolor. And depending on how thickly you apply the crayon, more or less watercolor will show through.